Hello everybody, it's Precious Pioneer and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I kind of wanted to talk about something kind of exciting. Um, I am switching things up this year and I am picking up 12 new challenges instead of following up with resolutions. I feel like though I'm in the same boat as many people and I kind of pick up a lot of different resolutions and then I either forget about them halfway through or I lose motivation or you know I just think that I don't think I've ever like finished or completed a resolution like I'm at December and I'm like yeah I did that like I don't think that has ever happened to me and so um, I was originally inspired by Matt Diavella one of my favorite youtubers and I think either this past year or the year before he decided to kind of pick those goals that you have always wanted to do or habits for better personal growth and then implement them for 30 days each month and see whether it was worth trying or not and so for his challenges he did all kinds of different things like quitting sugar cold showers meditation, exercising every single day, uh, waking up at 5 a.m. and seeing if those habits do really stick. And so for me, I'd like to try a couple of those um, specifically, but then also some of my own to kind of see what works because I think I have all these goals and sometimes I try it and sometimes I drop it. And this year I really want to be a little bit uh, better about personal development. And if you're new to my channel, I do have a lot of personal development videos. I'll leave a card up there for you to check out, but it's just really exciting for for me because um, in December I already made a lot of different changes uh, just I think on the outside uh, to reflect like how I feel moving forward whether that be motivated and um, inspired like I cut off my hair and I got a couple of new wardrobe pieces I moved across the world um, just different things like that and so what I want to do. I know we're already a week uh, into this year. It, for January, I decided that I wanted to be like more active and to do something every single day. Um, I think with quarantine, I spent too much time inside, which is, which is good given it's a pandemic, but also I think I could find time to at least go on a walk or go on a run or something like that, you know, away from people just to be a little bit more active and healthy with my body. And so uh, just something that I really wanted to implement like this year. Um, I know that I want to also try quitting sugar for a month because I know that's supposed to be like really good for you and I just want to see what that experience is like. I don't think I've ever solely just cut it off just to see what it's like. Um, I also want to drink a lot more water. I put drink more water on my resolutions every single year and I want to see if it actually does anything or if I can get a habit to stick. Um, I think the biggest thing about these experiments I encourage you to join me first off. Um, but I think the biggest thing about these experiments is that they don't have to be uh, zero to 100. I mean, some in this case, like the quitting sugar, I don't think you can go leeway um, unless it's maybe like fruits or something like that. Maybe that can be my leeway. Um, but I think the biggest thing uh, with habits, I always say like the biggest thing to get your habits to stick or to make improvements in your life is to do that 1% and to get uh, small, like better each and every day. And I think that's something that I could do for 30 days. So it seems very feasible. And if I like it enough, then it's like a great uh, running start into keeping the habit for the long, like a longer period of time. And so for me, like since I've been in Barcelona, like being active has been fairly easy. Like it's it's um, good for me to go outside and I have a good excuse whether that's to go to a bakery on the other side of town where I'd have to walk like 45 minutes or something you know that's an hour and a half of walking there and back you know and that's really good mileage for me I think I was a little over ambitious when I first got here because I didn't know the area that well so it was a really good excuse to like not take my map well I took it just in case for like emergencies but to kind of purposely get lost so I'd have to uh, walk an extra mile or so to find my way back um, because I don't know the streets and area that well but it was so funny because I was living in Exemple and up north is Caramel um, I'm sure that there's some more technical pronunciation, but it's like caramel. That's how, to, how it's spelled. But up there is a mountainous region and I didn't really know. And so I was gonna meet somebody up there and I'm like, okay, no problem. Like, and on Google Maps, it said an hour walk. And I'm like, I can, no, an hour and 30 minutes actually. I was like, oh yeah, I can do that. No problem. Like, it's fine. Like I'm fit. I can, I can do that. No problem. But I didn't know it was a mountainous region. And so by the time I had come all the way up and all the way back down, it was like 10 
10 miles that I had done for that day and it was just insane. Like I couldn't feel my legs or calves in the beginning of this challenge. Um, but I think that goes to show that sometimes just uh, fighting small pieces and like go taking each step like slow uh, is my goals for this year. I'm a lot more excited about these um, resolutions, I suppose, because it changes every 30 days. So if I hate it or if I don't stick to it or whatever, I after then, then you know there's no like pressure. I just wanted to see what it was like. Another uh, couple ones is that like I want to, I think my theme for 2021, like I mentioned um, in my social media is uh, the theme words are to send it. Um, Cause I just really want, I think that I'm in a position right now where um, I'm alone and I'm really actively pursuing my dreams, you know, as a culinary student and being a YouTuber and everything like that. And so it, I think it's the perfect opportunity opportunity to just send it and, and what I mean by that is just to give it my all give it a hundred ten percent and then you know either pressure makes diamonds or pressure will crush me and I realize that I actually hate this you know but I'll never know if I give it like a hundred ten percent and that's where I find myself like picking up and dropping a whole bunch of different things sometimes because you know I'll try really hard and then I realize like hey I don't like it and I'm at peace knowing that I can let that go not because I just quit and I didn't like finish it you know and so the reason why I bring that up is because I want to send it uh, in my YouTube videos and I want to make uh, more frequent uploads. I want to, um, uh, for one of my 30 day challenges, I want to uh, try vlogging. Like I know Vlogmas is very popular, maybe uh, not December, cause you know, December everybody does it, but maybe who knows. I, I like this structure because I have a list of different experiments I want to try, but there's no pressure on which month I have to do it on. I think on the first day of the month I'll just decide and then I'll go from there but yeah like I said I'll, I encourage you to join me just to try it out or at least like jot down 12 things that you want to try this year and do it for at least 30 days you know it takes a while for habits to stick but also you can see whether it works for you and I think the amazing part of Matt Tivella's experiments is that he realized like there's this pressure to keep these habits because they better your life and all these different things but he realized that after some of them they just really weren't working Worth it you know like waking up at 5 a.m. it just really crushed his productivity because he was always tired all the time or like when he uh, quit caffeine for 30 days um, even though he's a coffee lover he's just miserable and so sometimes I think sacrifice can be good for personal growth and development but also sacrifice can mean well naturally it means a loss of something and if it steals away from your joy and it's not worth it then at least now you know you know and so that's why I'm really excited to just hop on here and share this video with you guys as you can see, I'm in a new location. Ooh, ah, will there be an apartment video soon? I guess you have to comment and let me know what you think. Um, because um, I've been thinking about releasing it, but I don't know. Like, I don't know if that's something that you're interested in and that's not usually something I post on my channel, but hey, I am always up for trying something new. And it could always just be a bonus video if you're interested or I've been, as you can see by my little plant, his name is Timmy. I have been remodeling a little bit. Like this has been at my old home, so you saw that. Um, but I have been remodeling and getting a couple of plants and new items for my space, so. I'm really excited. I think once I finish it, because right now it's a little bit empty as new apartments tend to be, maybe like once I finish all the decor or painting or wallpaper and frames and all these different things, um, then I'll do an apartment tour, but only if you comment. So if I get enough comments who request it, then I'll make one. But I'm sure you'll just happen to see me uh, doing these experiments. But what are some of your New, Year uh, new Year's resolutions or goals for this year? Let me know as well. I always respond and I'm always intrigued to hear what my uh, subscribers and new people or uh, listeners are doing or are up to. I think we're at like 920 today. So thank you guys so much who have subscribed. If you're new, consider it maybe. Um, but then I'll see you guys next time. Bye.